everybody. Dolphin Oracle back again. It's been a while since I put up a video, but we've been playing with a few uh, features of Annex that are a little under the radar, and I thought I'd show you one. There is a utility in Annex called Connect Shares that allows you to automatically uh, log in to your shared uh, your network shares. There's a lot of ways to to uh, do network shares in Linux. I've showed you one with Space FM. There's others. That you can even put it in your FSTAB if you want to and mount from the command line. But Connect Shares uh, makes it very easy. Now this is written by a friend of mine from online named Sam K, and uh, it's a nice little utility. So we're going to go take a look at it. It's in Applications, System Tools, and there are three options: Connect Shares. Connect Shares Configuration and Disconnect Shares. They're pretty self-explanatory. Now we need to configure ours the first time. So it's going to show us this handy menu of options. And uh, the mouse isn't going to work real well on this. I recommend either using the numbers or using the arrow keys and the uh, OK button, uh, spacebar enter to do this. So it says find shares offered by remote system. So I know I have my server running. And there's my serp. Whoops. There's my server. I hit the mouse wheel. That's why it went back. Um, here's my server work group. In the work group, work group, and in media PC, and there's the IP address, and there's all the various uh, items there. And I have a share called media, and that is the one that I want. So what you want to do is you want to note your IP address. The, the, the nominate shares to connect for a remote system. This is a fancy way for creating the configuration, the default configuration. And you can select the configuration file. Just hit tab to get over to the file slot. Use your arrow keys. And you want connectshares.com. That's the default. Hit the space bar so that it fills in the line at the bottom and hit enter. This is going to give you a edit screen. And if you remember, uh, this remote line is the IP address or the name, assuming you're using a DNS. These are not Windows names. This is a DNS name. Um, for the server. Now I, I know my IP address is 192.168.1.133. Odd address I know but I remember it. The next line is for Samba Shares. And this just says, hey, do you want to be able to connect to Samba Shares? And the answer is yes. You put a Y. Now it wants to know the name of the work group. My work group is work group. Now if you don't know your name of your work group and it's a Samba you need to look in depending on what kind of system you've got your share set up on you need to look on that system and see what the root groups called or connect shares probably will show you the work group name just pay attention. On most Windows PCs it is either home or work group. Now here you can put in all the shares that you want. I had several. You can see in the example here it has uh, each share separated by a space. I only have one share that I'm interested in, so I'm just going to type that in, and that's my media share. The next line is about automatically supplying credentials like a username and password. Uh, if you have a password set up on your share, this is where you tell it yes, and this is where you tell it this line, cred name and cred pass is where you give it the credentials, name, uh, username and password. My server, shh is set up so anybody in the house can use it so there's no username and password. So I have a share guest. Type setup. Let me make sure I did that right. Let's see. Actually I did that wrong. My share user, this your share user, this is the wrong line. That one will stay blank. User security is for usernames and passwords. Guest is for anybody. Media. There we go. Okay. Uh, this is for some options, not necessary. And then there's some lines for NFS shares. I don't have any NFS shares, but if you do, you can check them out. There is very verbose in the explaining what each option does. I don't have any NFS shares, but if you do, check it out. I'm sure to work. You tab down, hit save and close. That creates the configuration file in connectshares.conf. And now we're done with this screen, so we can cancel out of this. Okay, so now we're ready to connect to shares. Now I am going to open a window here, a 
file browser window because what Connect Shares is going to do is put a link in the home folder and a mount point to our network share in slash mount. So we are going to go to Applications, System Tools, and Connect Shares. And that's going to attempt to contact. And there you are. Following shares are mounted. And you see we have a link here pop up in our home folder. That window automatically goes away. It's a time window. It takes five seconds. So we'll go in here, click on this. And this actually takes us to the media folder. And there we are. There's my media folder. Uh, the fo shared folders from my media my media server. It's that simple. If I want to disconnect, it makes it easy. You go to disconnect shares, you hit the space bar to tell it which one you want gone, and there you go. Success, and we're disconnected. And it actually won't unmount if you're uh, looking at the folder in, uh, say, Space FM. Which brings me to a neat feature of Space FM. Okay, so now I might want to log into my network folder. Ah, the mount points remain in this, so the mount points will be there. So if you make bookmarks to the mount points, uh, they're not going to disappear or anything. Uh, but you do have to run connect shares to get it. Now, it's a little unwieldy to go through the menu there and do it when you want to mount on the fly. So I like to set up a new command under tools and we'll just call it connect to media PC and now it's going to ask for the command and we are all we need is connect shares as the command and there it goes it runs it's mounted and now we're browsing in space FM And if we want to bookmark it, we just drag a. F uh, actually, we got a. I forgot. There we go. You just make a bookmark to it, and you're good to go. Okay, so we can also add another command, and you can see that the new command window went away. This is kind of a. I think I feel a bug in the tools menu, but what you can do is you can do a right click, and add a command new. And then we can say disconnect shares. And we say disconnect shares. Click OK. And now when we do on disconnect, you're going to do this like this way because it's going to show you that since I'm in the folder, it's not going to disconnect. See, failure. It's not going to disconnect. You have to be out of it and now it'll disconnect. There we go, success. We've disconnected our shares. Okay, I find this really easy, a really nice way to do it. Um, uh, like I say, Sam K uh, wrote this with the option of being super flexible. It's actually not dependent on any kind of weird tools or anything. But there is one uh, other neat thing you can do uh, with Connect Shares. And that is, if we go into the Antics Control Center, and go to our ICE WM settings or whatever menu you're using. Actually for us, ICE WM or Fluxbox both have the commands. Go to the Startup tab and you see there is a section already in for Connect Shares. And all you have to do is uncomment that and it will run Connect Shares at boot up when, it's, when, when ICE WM starts up, when ICE WM starts up, and your network shares will automatically be connected. Connect Shares, you can run it from the command line. There's a command line version of Connect Shares. I'm not going to save that because I like to mount on demand uh, just because I use my computer in multiple places. There is a command line version of Connect Shares that you would run from the prompt, but you have to use sudo. It's sudo Connect Shares and your password. Oh, it's this is what I want to show you. It's sudo connectshares.sh. 
slightly different routine. And there it goes. And when it disconnects, you'll be able to follow the link. So if I look here, the link is there, CD192, ta-da. You can actually do it from the command line. You can do it from the command line by how you mount. But you, if, this is handy if you, say, end up at a command prompt instead of in your GUI, in X, or your Windows Manager, however you want to say it. Uh, this is a neat, quick way to mount from the command line. And disconnect shares is the same way. sudo disconnect shares.sh. I think that's because I'm in the folder. Ah, I am. CD home. Now we'll... There we go. Success. So there you go. It won't mount if you're in the folder. It won't unmount if you're in the folder. Okay, so that is another way to connect to your network shares. Uh, if you have any questions, drop a line over at the forums, antics.freeforums.org. Or check out the how-tos at antics.mepis.org. There will be a guide up in the Antics Wiki eventually for Connect Shares. It's in the process of being reviewed. And um, if you're interested, drop a line and say hi to Sam K over in the uh, over in the forums. He's the, he's usually over there. Thanks a lot. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great night.